Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. A group of 10 rabbits enjoys racing against each other, but the group also has a friendly spirit. The rabbits plan races so that each rabbit beats every other rabbit. Rabbit A is said to beat rabbit B if rabbit A finishes at least one spot ahead of rabbit B in some race. Rabbit A does not have to win the race, it only has to finish ahead of rabbit B in some race. A simple solution is the group plans 10 races where each rabbit finishes first in a different race. But is there a more efficient method? What is the minimum number of races so that each rabbit can claim to beat every other rabbit? For the minimum number, how many different ways can they plan the races? And what if there are n rabbits? How many races are needed and how many ways can they plan the races? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So somewhat surprisingly, the rabbits only need to plan two races. Let's number the rabbits from 1 to 10, and let's write the finishing order of the race as A, B, C, and so on to mean A finishes in last place, then B finishes, then C finishes, and so on. In the first race, we'll put the rabbits in sequential order, where rabbit 10 beats all of the other rabbits, Rabbit 9 beats all of the rabbits except for 10, Rabbit 8 beats all of the rabbits except for 10 and 9, and so on, until Rabbit 1 beats no one. So now each rabbit is beating all of the numbers that are less than that rabbit's number. In the next race, what we'll do is we'll have the rabbits finish in exactly the reverse order. Now in this race, it's the opposite. Each rabbit beats all of the rabbits whose numbers are higher than the rabbit's number. So rabbit 1 beats all of the other rabbits, rabbit 2 beats all of the rabbits except for 1, rabbit 3 beats all of the rabbits except for 1 and 2, and so on, until rabbit 10 beats no one. You can check that together, with these two races, each rabbit can claim to have beaten all of the other rabbits. This demonstrates that 2 is a possible solution. Furthermore, it shows that 2 is the minimum number. We know that one race cannot suffice because in that first race, there will be a rabbit who finishes in last place who doesn't beat anyone else. So 2 is the minimum number, and it is achieved. So how many different ways can they plan these races? Well, in this solution, I put the rabbits in order from 1 to 10. But the first race can actually be any arrangement of the numbers from 1 to 10. It can be any permutation of the numbers from 1 to 10, and the second race just has the same numbers in reverse order. You can check that that solution works. So how many different ways are there for this? Well, the first race can be any permutation, and there are 10 factorial ways to arrange 10 different rabbits. So there are 10 factorial ways. The problem generalizes to n rabbits. We once again only need two races. The first race will have the rabbits going in order from 1 to n, and the second race can be the reverse order. But in fact, the first race could be any permutation of the numbers 1 to n, and the second race would be the reverse order. How many ways are there to order the numbers 1 to n? There are n factorial permutations, and that's the number of ways that they could plan the races to have the minimum number of races. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.